Hello and welcome to the big picture. One of the most discussed and debated reforms for years, but hardly implemented in this country, has been the labor reforms. However, after the NDA government has come into power last year, the reform process has got a fillip. In the last eight months, a cell set up in the labor ministry has been working on one of the most elaborate and widespread reforms ever attempted so far. This includes integrating three major laws, the Trade Union Act, Industrial Disputes Act and Industrial Employment Act into a single code for industrial relations. In fact, the attempt is to club 44 labor laws into five courts, wages, industrial relations, social security and welfare, safety and working conditions, and employment training. Prime Minister Narendra Modi, while addressing the 46th Indian Labor Conference yesterday, has said that government is keen on these reforms, but will bring it in through consensus. However, the 11 major trade unions have so far been opposed and dissatisfied with many of the proposals. In fact, they have given notice for an All India strike on September 2nd against these proposals. Today, we will discuss the proposals of the government, why the trade unions are opposing them, and what could be those proposals which can find consensus. To discuss this, I have with me Virjesh Upadhyay, General Secretary of the Bharatiya Mazdoor Sangh, Ramendra Kumar, National President of the ITAC, Ajay Shankar, former Secretary, Department of Industrial Policy and Promotion, Government of India, and also former Member Secretary of the National Manufacturing Competitiveness Council, and Professor Santosh Marotra of Centre for Informal Sector and Labour Studies at the JNU. Welcome to all of you. Mr. Upadhyay, you know, last two days has been quite hectic for you people. There have been confer conferences are going on. Sure. Prime Minister has met you, uh, you people also. Once he has addressed you, once he has met you also. Has there been any of, in, uh, as far as in the proposals which the government has put forth before you, has there been a consensus on any of them? Consensus in the sink, uh, this Today's ILC was actually not meant for this. ILC has its own agenda that has been decided one and a half year back. But, but Prime Minister speaking at that yes, time yes. spoke about many the things. The issue we were raising, we had been raising since last one year or more, the issue of uh, reform in the labour laws. First time we are happy to listen the Prime Minister, the concern he has uh, addressed there that uh, Whatever reform in the labor laws will come, that will come with the consensus of the trade unions. This is the welcome step by Prime Minister. What will be outcome that is not known now. But the issue which is being debated and we were unhappy, angry, we were on agitation, no government was in a mood to listen. The initiative of Prime Minister and assurance that uh, you will be heard and whatever initiative will government take, that will be with the consensus of trade unions. Up to this extent, we are uh, satisfied that uh, at least government has considered the concern of the trade unions. So, Mr. Mr. Raminder Singh, last eight, eight months that this cell has been functioning, has been coming out with those proposals, has there been any consultations with you people, with the trade unions? Shriman Kal, who Pran Mantri Ji ka bhaasan hua, usme jo majdurun ki samasya hai, जो कर्मचारियों की समस्या है उसको उन्होंने छुआ नहीं टच नहीं किया वो जनरल जनरल तरीके से बोले और जनरल तरीके से बोले किसी खास विषय पर नहीं बोले और कोई खास प्रस्ताव सरकार की ओर से प्रधानमंत्री की ओर से सम्मेलन में नहीं दिया गया और इसीलिए जब प्रस्ताव ही नहीं था तो उस पर कोई विचार करने का प्रश्न ही नहीं उठता है। लेकिन जब when when he met all of you, when he met all the trade union leaders, you know, yesterday, day before yesterday, it's Sunday, last Sunday, day. Sunday, weren't these specific proposals discussed? उसमें मैं तो था नहीं। Specific proposals, उपाध्याय जी? I was there. He was there. We should not club these two. ILC is actually no, not. No, let us keep ILC aside. Hmm. I am talking of the proposals which the government. Has the government? The government did the not give any proposal. Even on Sunday, when even on Prime Sunday Minister, there was no proposal. When Prime Minister called the trade unions, all the trade unions, General Secretary and President, on tea. They have, but the Prime Minister heard. Prime Minister kept mum. 
like a mauni baba okay okay no no so let us come to this i i before i go to my other two guests uh, mr upadhyay integrating these three laws trade union act the industrial disputes act and the industrial employment standing order act what is the what is the what what is the view of the trade unions on this integration codification it's a welcome move we were also these five codes to be set yes, yes. 44 we were labor demanding and it was recommended in the second labor commission also okay but the contents of the code that's are disputable not agreeable unnecessarily government is trying to snatch the power of trade union not only this this way if this codes contents are in the same way trade union movement will be finished totally so this cannot be acceptable to us the restrictions the uh, position government is taking there by this way there will be no trade union organization no one can register trade union the, it will be difficult one of the to... proposals is that the trade union can be set up by only the workers of the particular establishment that is not Which... practicable you see not say uh, theoretically it can say it but uh, practically in industry you can't register trade union by workmen of their, that particular factory or company unfortunately what is happening in our country trade unions are being considered as a negative force if one tries to get trade union registered if owner of the company knows this gentleman has gone to register immediately he will be sent out he will be sacked sacked so in this type of scenario if you will say outsiders are not allowed to hold the post it means indirectly you are imposing the condition that uh, trade union movement will not be there because internally they can't go to register trade union they can't be leader even if they try they intend to go for registration of trade union they will be said how trade union will come up okay mr ajay shankar this is a, so is is this proposal according to mr upadhyay i am sure mr rameshwar singh also will agree uh, will agree with it mr ramendra kumar sorry will agree with it so is the proposal to finish the whole trade unions and what you know No, no, what is us, the proposal? Uh, no, no, let us look at it from a macro perspective. I think what is very encouraging is that there is recognition that success of Make in India, success in employment generation, needs a major change in the industrial relations scenario of the country. This is what the government thinks. No, I think there is a consensus in society, and the change in industrial relations scenario also needs change in labour laws. and i am very glad to hear that the dialogue has started and the conceptual framework that we should have five codes is a welcome initiative now what should be the content of each of these will be subject of intense debate intense consultation and give and take and i am glad that the prime minister but has very you, clearly but, said no, no, that agree? we will consult and with the process of consultation we'll move forward but do you agree with mr upadhyay and his friends in the trade union movement that this proposal to have only workers registering a trade union in a particular establishment is something which will kill the entire trade union movement in this country uh, this clearly is a contentious issue and will need to be discussed but if we are looking at a real <laughs> success then we have to bear in mind that this country has been bypassed by labor intensive manufacturing and we need an environment where investors not only of this country but of the rest of the world are confident about putting up plants employing 30 40 50 100 000, 000 workers the real difference between india and china of the last 20 years has been the success of china in manufacturing and in creating 300 million manufacturing jobs so we have to have the discussion with that objective in mind the rest is a matter of detail okay. where i am confident that with serious and honest discussion a consensus in a way forward should be possible okay. i have to give you just one extreme example i mean germany has after the war when they were completely destroyed they came to the conclusion that management and labor have to work together to rebuild germany so it's one of the few countries where labor is formally there in the boards of companies so all kinds of models are possible but we need good faith and good intention and an agreement on the ultimate objective okay santosh <laughs> santosh this <clears throat> you heard that you know let yeah. us we we, uh, we are running short of time actually so you know if you if if you take what mr upadhyay says that this these codes are a, are a good idea as far as codes are concerned you know uh, 
bringing together 44 laws in and making them into five different codes. They are, they are good. But the content of these codes, how it's going to be implemented, they seem to have a serious problem there. Well, those problems will have to be sorted out. It is in the interest of both the workers as well as the employers that more jobs get generated. Our problem is that, as uh, Mr. Ajayashankar rightly pointed out, that we are not generating enough jobs in manufacturing. Construction is generating jobs, but manufacturing is not. And secondly, the most important problem is that jobs are not get, getting generated in the organized sector or in the for, in, in formal employment. And we are a complete outlier in, uh, in the developing countries of the world with 93% of our workforce in informal employment. So, you know, and labor laws are part of the problem here. So, it's, first of all, I want to emphasize that thankfully this government is taking, has taken the view, something that we have argued for for some time, uh, it's in the 12th plan also, that, you know, the 44 laws, central laws, should be collapsed into a limited number one. So, we've, though, we've, we are working towards these five codes. We already have two codes in place in draft form, and they can be read on the ministry's website, one on industrial um, relations and the other on wages, and the other three are under preparation. But I agree with Mr. Bo Mr. Ravindra Kumar as well as Mr. Upadhyay that the details of each of these codes will have to be worked out. But I hope that, you know, we, we are on the same page that... Uh, and I would like to hear more on, on this subject yes. from Mr. Ramin Kumar as well as Mr. Yes, I, in Hi, fact, that, you know, the reduction into three, five codes is a very important step forward because it simplifies. Now, absolutely. Simplification I, I, should not mean the uh, erosion, erosion of worker rights. Right. I think, I think on that there seems to be... Jobs. On, on that there seems to be a consensus that, you know, collapsing them into five codes is not a bad idea, but Mr. Upadhyay... No, I, I want you to answer another question of mine. Is there an, an, is there an agreement among the trade unions that, as Mr. Both Ajay Shankar and uh, Marotra says, that the, we have not been able to generate jobs in this country because of the labor law, the existing labor laws? Would you agree with that? We don't agree. It's don't a propaganda. Job. I'll come to you, sir. It's a myth concept. Number of studies has been conducted in the end, recent one. CIA and KPMG has gone and is studied. Their report says the top 10 contracts which are labor laws doesn't stand there. Being a trade unionist, we are not against the growth or development of any kind. If uh, we are now propagating, we are supporting now, investments should come so that industry should come so that uh, workmen will grow. So we are not against all these. But unfortunately, this propaganda is being created. Ki growth is not taking place because of the labor laws. It's nowhere. It's a getting finance, getting land, electricity, environmental clearance, number of things are there. Top 10 contracts, their labor laws doesn't stand. We are ready to have debate. Top 10, top 10 constraints in, for investi investing in India. Yes. You say labor laws is not one of them. No, not at all. Not at all. So there are other reasons well, why, other regions. Fifth, why it is happening. Fifth yes. most important constraint. Sorry? One, two, three, four are different. The, it is the, you I'm you say the fifth he, constraint, you most say it important is constraint, constraint is labor law. One, two, three, four top constraints are not labor law. Okay, you say fifth constraint, Mr. Upadhyay feels that it is not even there in the, in the top yes, ten constraints. Yes, Mr. Ramendra Kumar. Saram you, you, you agree that, you know... These laws need to be changed, needs to be, you know, reforms have to be brought in, some kind of reforms re elasticity needs to be there if, if investments have to come in, jobs have to grow, and we need a lot of jobs. Trade unions, Vikas Birodhi nahi hai. Trade unions, Vikas ka samarthak hai. Trade unions, Nivesh ka bhi Birodhi nahi hai. Hum Nivesh ke pakshdar hai. Magar, wa Vikas जिसमें रोजगार का सिर्जन नहीं हो, जिसमें मजदूरों की प्रोटेक्शन नहीं हो, इस तरह की विकास की सार्थक करने से बेकार है। और यह कहना कि सरम कानून बाधक है, उद्योग नहीं लग रहे हैं, इससे हमलोग कतई सहमत नहीं हैं। अभी तक वही सरम कानून है, 
तो देश में क्या कुछ इंडस्ट्री लगे कि नहीं लगे सेकेंड फाइबर भी इंडस्ट्री लगे बहुत पब्लिक सेक्टर जनरेट कर रहे हैं अब तो बातें उल्टी हो रही है नहीं तो वाई डू यू थिंक दिस इज हैपनिंग देन इफ यू आर सेइंग दैट इट इज गवर्नमेंट हैज चेंज देयर पॉलिसी गवर्नमेंट सुधार का मतलब होता है कि जो गड़बड़ियां हैं उसको सुधारो यहां सुधार का मतलब हो रहा है कि मालिक को सुविधा दो मजदूरों पर आफत ढाओ सुधार का मतलब यही है ये जो आफत आने वाला है उसका हम ट्रेडमेंट विरोध कर रहे हैं मिस्टर अजय शंकर हाउ डू यू रिस्पॉन्ड टू दैट Uh, no, this is, these, no, no, are, no, these no, two no, are two no, major trade unions no, in this country. One is the president, the other is general secretary. I mean, if you are not able to convince these these two people, how can the government bring in reforms? But the persuasion and uh, change in attitude will flow from a serious discussion. And the fact that the serious discussion has started is a very good positive first step. Now, let us come to the substance of it. The fact of the matter is that labor-intensive manufacturing has bypassed India till date. That's there are many good reasons for no, it. No, and what? No, no, there are many good reasons. <laughs> so land, infrastructure are all good reasons. But you, you agree that it doesn't form no, first, no, no, no. first of the no, ten? No, 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 it may not form the first, it may not first form the second, constraints. it may not form the third. But it is a constraint, and I would use the word, the atmosphere of industrial relations. Labor laws are a constituent of that atmosphere of industrial relations. And that has to be positive because no Indian investor today would like to set up a factory employing 40, 50,000 workers in one plant. And when Indian investors are not prepared to create those factories, foreign investors are not prepared to create these factories. Now, how do we change that atmosphere, create genuine partnership between workers, their leaders, and management is the challenge of changing is, the state. Is, okay, it's the challenge, yes. Now, that sense of partnership needs a serious discussion on all these matters. Yes. Until we have that sense of partnership yeah, very and confidence, quickly, Mr. Upadhyay, we don't I get the to... jobs. Yes. Actually, the tendency is different one. Labor-intensive industries are not coming up. It is not because of the labor laws. It is because of the mindset of the industrialists. Industrialist. And worldwide, it is happening. And because of that, but decline is coming up. China has created 300 million manufacturing oh, no. jobs. China, China. I refuse to believe that the Indian worker is not more competent and not as efficient as the Chinese worker. So we have to see seriously why we have not got those jobs and how we get them. The, 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 the basic issue is the basic issue is the model we are following. This capital model, this market economic concept. Actually, the idea behind this one is the problem is because of this one. It is not because of labor laws are problem in the country. Okay. Okay. We are joined in now uh, by Ashok Singh, International Vice President of the INTUC, Intuck. Uh, Mr. Mr. Singh, we don't have too much time. But the question is this, that the proposals which the government has, has come forward with as far as reforms, labor reforms are concerned, is there any of those proposals where you can you think that there will be consensus? Sir... Uh, thank you very much. I'm sorry for the delay. Actually, I was in the 46th level conference in the Big Bhavan from where I'm coming. Just now it ended. Sir, the Prime Minister at his residence day for yesterday, uh, with all the table centers leaders, told us categorically that this tripartite system is a very uh, old and very respectful system. It is a very respectful system. And we should support it. और ट्राई सिस्टम के बिना पूछे हम जिसमें कि एम्प्लॉयर भी है जिसमें कि हमारे वर्कर्स भी हैं जिसमें गवर्नमेंट भी है ऑल थ्री सिट टुगेदर ऑल थ्री डिस्कस टुगेदर टुगेदर सर एक मिनट सर सर टुडे नहीं इट्स नॉट हैपन बिफोर दिस लेबर रिफॉर्म्स यही इसलिए मैं टूडे दिस इज इन फोर्टी सिक्स लेबर कॉन्फ्रेंस आई द कमेटी Retrace historical role of tripartite mechanism and functioning in the country before any enactment amendment of the labor law. First, sir, it is conclusion of the committee. ILC 46 passed this about the labor reforms. Number one, the committee retraced historical role of tripartite mechanism functioning in the country okay. before any enactment. Sir, any labor law amendments, enactments should take into account three purposes, namely, number one, rights and welfare of the workers. Number two, sustainability of enterprises and job creation. And number, number three, industrial peace. Third one, sir, the labor law need to be relooked and updated in a time-bound manner. Number four is last one, sir, the committee recommends that the overall size of the labor law amendments 
should be discussed in the tripartite forum and the and the broad and the specific proposal should also be discussed in the tripartite meetings. Okay. Sir, sir, one minute, sir. No, we are completely well, running minute, out sir, of time. To, 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 sir, sir, yes. one minute, sir. The prime minister, when prime minister of this country, addressing while while on the cup of tea at his residence, told very categorically, we must respect the tripartite system. Okay. Then, why, the same thing we are, we are, we are sir, uh, okay. uh, telling here. So, sir, number one, number two, sir. Jo Amare Mitra ne kaha ki industry jin loss due to this labor and this is, it is not the labor is not only one factor, sir. Due to companies going the loss, so many, so many factors, tax factor, policy factor, import that factor. Is, that, import is, that, factor is, that, that was, so many, so many no, that was pointed out. Due to no, the but policy now the of question. the government, due to the wrong policy of the government, industry suffer. Not only due to workers, sir. Okay. Workers, workers invest their, okay. their, 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 their labor and cap capitalists invest okay, their um, cap capital, sir. Okay, sir. Santosh, very quickly, last words. So th there, there seems to be a, you know, a, lot of, a lot of work which needs to be done if, if we have to move, if we have to see any kind of you know, serious reforms taking place. Would you agree with that? Going by what, what we have heard from our friends here. Absolutely right. I'm in deep sympathy with what our uh, trade union colleagues have said. Uh, th there's no question about the tripartite uh, mechanism, but they must also recognize that we are uh, in a very bad situation compared to East Asian countries, Latin American countries, in the following sense, that, you know, we have a very large enough number of enterprises which sort of employ less than five or six workers, where labor law does not apply. Now, we have to ensure that more firms will employ larger number of workers so that okay. formalization of the workforce takes place and formalization means that labor laws will apply. Currently, okay. for the vast majority of the workforce, labor laws hardly apply. That's okay. the problem which our trade unions must recognize and our employers must also recognize. Okay, I think on that note, we need to end. We completely run out of time. But I hope as... Some of my panelists here said that you know this will this is just the beginning of the of the uh, you know widespread debate and discussion which needs to take place between the government and the trade unions and the and the industry also obviously. So we'll wait and watch how this will go. But I hope this is a good beginning or a new beginning with with all the trade, un trade unions meeting the prime minister and the prime minister assuring them that there will be some some kind of a tripartite discussions. We'll wait and watch what will happen. Thanks to all my guests. Please keep watching. We'll come back with another issue in the big picture. Same time tomorrow.